in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I just sense that there is a shift in the atmosphere. The anointing that is shifting in the atmosphere is an anointing that is bringing stability back. There are people's lives that are it's, it's like a reed before the wind. Please hear me. Listen very carefully. We're about to pray. Please be sensitive now. Spiritual illumination backed up by a life of intense prayer and fellowship with the secret is the key to ever increasing grace the abundance of grace please bring the gentleman that shouts now under the anointing as I mentioned abundance of grace I just saw the word prophet and I saw light on someone a gentleman I don't know who that person is please when you find him bring him we're going to pray just a few minutes shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me part of the song I like. I am victorious. I have overcome. I am victorious. Ali, Ali, oh. Ali, oh. Ali, oh. Ali, Ali, oh. Man of God, go and find out what is the key to church growth. Don't argue it. Results are exact in the spirit. Go and find out. What has God placed upon his servant? The secrets of men are contained in their words. You know God by knowing his word. So you know men by studying their words. Their speakings are a revelation of their mindset, their understanding. You may not have the liberty for close proximity, but you can draw close to their minds using the vista of their words. Settle down. Find the area in your life that is not working and invest in light. Back it up with prayer. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2 and verse 42, it says, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and in fellowship and in the breaking of bread and in prayer. Acts chapter 4 and verse 33, and now we we'll pray and I wrap up. The Bible says, and with great power, gave the apostles witness of the resurrection and great grace was upon how many? That means all of us can carry great grace. Great power comes with great grace. Great grace comes with great knowledge. Great grace was upon them all. Listen, the quality of your witness in this end time depends on the level of unction an enabling grace that you carry which is a product of the time you have invested in the study of the word high level spiritual illumination intense moments of prayer 
and fellowship with the Spirit, nothing else will replace these keys. Whether you want to be an extraordinary CEO, an exceptional man of God, you want to become an exceptional father, mother, leader, the formula is the same. You cannot ignore the word of God, ignore the ministry of prayer and fellowship with the Spirit. One communication of the Spirit in the place of fellowship can equal the next 20 years of relevance in your life. Listen, we have gotten to times in the church age where depending on the intellect alone or over dependence I would say on the intellect will prove to be costly in the days that come because let me tell you the truth there are trajectories we are about to tour that no man can claim to have had the experience not within this dispensation you would have to be three four hundred years old to tell us I've seen this before everybody who saw that cyclical move has gone so we are infants relative to the moves coming you need to depend on the ancient of days there is a fountain of wisdom you must tap in the place of fellowship only God will tell you what the next 10 years of ministry will be Reverend Sam spoke about my teaching so graciously and I'm so grateful for that but let me tell you as at the time God instructed me to start putting teachings online internet was just in its infancy within the African soil and the Lord spoke to me we, if I think Facebook just started or so and he told me he said put these teachings quality of production very poor was not I mean sometimes you would have to stretch to listen to some of the audios and he said put it online and my angel will take it to the ends of the earth have you had God for 2023 20, till 2033 has he spoken to you don't assume it to be business as usual. COVID has taught us the, the, the excellency of staying with the spirit to navigate the ever-changing world that we live in. Billionaires fell to nothing within one year because of over-dependence on the flesh. Proverbs 3, 5 to 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, it says, and lean not on your own understanding. The next verse says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. I love verse 7. It says, be not wise in your own eyes. It says, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. You can be wise in your eyes. Hallelujah. With great power, give the apostles witness of the resurrection and great grace. You are lifted by grace when you are lifted through knowledge you are lifted by grace when you are lifted through high level illumination listen there is no amount of darkness you will confront in this life that does not have a light component to drive it away John 1 5 and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not is someone ready to pray? I plead for a few minutes, just a few minutes, so that we can just cap this and, and, and take some moments to pray. Don't allow this year, not after this Gilgal experience, don't allow this year. Listen, let me tell you, regardless the prophetic word, every year remains like the previous year until you engage. Until you engage. Remember this word, exceeding precious promises. Commitments bound by conditions, bound to conditions. Cain and Abel went to offer sacrifices. One walked in keeping with the patterns. Abel, his sacrifice was accepted. Cain compromised on the pattern and his sacrifice was not accepted. He was angry and God said, why are you wrought? If you had done it, will you not be accepted? The same Lord is rich unto all. What has God done to the sister you said in your church here or another person and it looks like he's not done it to you? For others, it's a matter of time, like your pastor has said. Haven't done all to stand, you just stand and wait with patience until it comes. But for others, you are waiting in vain because you have not even done anything. Waiting for a harvest over a seed you have not sown is fraud. So you need to ask yourself, have I sown? Don't just say I'm expecting a harvest. 
the danger is that it's time that will reveal both whether you have sown well or not I made up my mind as a commitment I started this from my time of retreat I made up my mind that I would be I would press and stretch myself not from a competitive standpoint but that there are heights virgin dimensions in the spirit we must press and we must touch as I study God's generals and these people my goodness this is child's play relative to the levels of the grace that these people touched dimensions that makes you a blessing to nations I vowed a vow in the name of Jesus that I would never stand on any man's pulpit and preach rubbish and waste their time and they just clap and say, show him the way. No, no, no. There are souls to be saved. There are lives to be transformed. For some people, that is the last sermon. That sermon represents the last, the last string of mercy they have for their deliverance. My life must change. My life must change Because I've touched your grace I've touched your grace My life must change My life must change I've touched your grace I've touched your grace you will never be the same you've touched this grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched this grace I'd like you to begin to thank God for this teaching tonight everywhere while you're standing I saw several people outside the overflows and those who are following from across the globe now is the point where you press come on this is a church of prayer this is a place of prayer is someone praying Salaga Bracato Shalaka Brandege Balato Siata Sabra Tesca Belega Baratoska Liga Brandege Veratus Sala Sabasca Barato Sabrandegeba. Just a minute or two to press Aliga Baratoskiata Mark eleven twenty four. What things soever ye desire when ye pray, when ye pray, when ye pray. Man of God, pray. Businessman, pray. Captain of industry, pray. Mother, father, pray. It's a new season. There is an abundance of grace that God is bringing to the body of Christ. But the grace follows after abundance of knowledge, high level spiritual illumination. Obtain grace to press for knowledge. Obtain grace to press for knowledge. Someone is praying. You're going to cry. Listen carefully. It says the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion. is the word koinonia. The fellowship, the sharing together. You see. It's important for you to pray. Obtain grace to stay with the word until light comes. Isaiah 61 and 2 Amplified says, arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. Shine for your light is come. You don't arise and shine because you are tired of sitting. You arise and shine because your light is come. Not because your light is around. It's been around since 2015 for someone, but it has not come to you. May this be the year that it comes. Are you ready to pray? 
I obtain grace. Someone pray. Open up your mouth and pray. Grace to contend for superior light. The Bible says that he made many lights, but there were two great lights. One to rule the day and the other to rule the night. And then he made the stars also. Go ahead and pray. The light that empowers me to rule the day, the light that empowers me to rule the night, I obtain, I obtain. By diligent study, I, Daniel, understood by books. I, Daniel, understood by books. Someone pray. I obtain grace to be a student of scripture. I obtain grace to be disciplined towards my press for light. Definite light. Marvelous light. Light that illuminates every darkness in my life. I obtain grace to invest in prayer. Someone is praying. I obtain grace to invest in prayer. But we will give ourselves continually. Acts chapter 6 and verse 4. We will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The nations are calling for the mantle God has put upon your life. Man of God, the nations are calling for the grace he has put upon you. Oh Esther, oh Ruth. Oh Deborah, oh Elijah, the nations are calling. Hallelujah. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. In my life, you are proving over every darkness. You are closing lights to shine from dark. Prophesy one time upon your life. You are proving over every darkness. You are closing lights to shine from dark. Now, spare me a minute. I want you to pray. Every grace you have seen at work in the life of your man of God, I stand in faith with you. I want you to place a demand upon it right now. By reason of being grafted to this spiritual tribe, him and his wife, the grace, the years of sacrifice in the spirit, I'm releasing my faith with you. Pray, what have you seen work in his life? What have you seen God do in this church? Is someone praying? Don't let pride keep you in that position. What have you seen God do in his life? Father, you have lifted him. Let that grace come upon me. Are you praying? That the Lord who took him from the city of Azarain, Bauchi, and lifted him to become a voice across the nations. Lord, you can lift me right where I am. From where thou art, he says, lift up your eyes. Someone is placing a demand. And all of you who are connected to his prayer platform, there is a chance to pray all across the globe, placing a demand upon the grace that God has put on his life. Father, I obtain the grace for vibrancy in prayer. I obtain the grace to understand the capacity to understand scripture. Grace for fellowship with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. 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 There is the abundance of grace that a man can have. 
I stretch my hands now. Something is going to fall right now. Just in one minute. I come as one sent in the name of the Lord. I want you to receive this with all your heart. You will be surprised what will happen to you. In the name of Jesus, Father, you have sent me here not only to preach, but to impart. I stretch my hands right now. Let that fire, that grace. Oh, speak from your heavens and the earth will sing. Oh, speak from the heavens now he from the earth. Speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. My altar is calling you, oh God. My sacrifice is calling you, oh God. Let the grace for visibility, the grace that can cause a territory. That hear ye him anointing in the name of Jesus. I impart that grace upon you now. Receive that patatos ketepata. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Visibility in ministry. Visibility in your family. From where you are, rise and let the nation see Jesus from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every delay in your life, whatever has tied you in the same position, there are two systems of advantage that are given by God to men to redeem time. Number one is restoration. Number two is speed. I call upon these twofold graces. May they rest upon your life now. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Hallelujah. Your pastor is a blessed man. God has shown him mercy. I want to stand in faith with him and speak. Can I tell you the truth? Believe me when I tell you, if you are not empowered economically, you will never be able to be an effective witness. The name of Jesus is very heavy. It takes resources to lift it up. If you will lift it with integrity. Did you hear what I said? The name of Jesus is very heavy. It takes resources to lift it high enough for the nations to see. God who has helped this precious man and his wife. I'm standing in faith. Listen, if you believe in this prayer, I'm praying for you. Many of you have been in this city, a land of plenty, but the two lip gates has been closed over your hands. I pray for you by the grace that helps men even financially. Between now and the next three months, I stand by the grace and the oil of this call. I declare, may my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. Access to favor, uncommon kindness, uncommon access, uncommon acceptance. Hallelujah. Many of you hear me. You are in this church, but you are not genuinely connected to the anointing genuinely connected Jesus said all that you have given me I have kept we only keep what we are given that stays as though he says except the son of perdition he had to explain why Judas let me tell you spiritual fatherhood is a responsibility you account for those God gave you and there are many of you that are sincerely genuinely not connected you connect through honor you connect through giving you connect through your prayer. You connect by supporting what it is, the dimension of God committed to the man that God has given you. Are we together? I don't know what has mocked God in your life, but in the name of Jesus, it ends now. It ends now. It ends.
ends now. It ends now. Therefore, by the privilege of God's grace, standing on all the graces that have ministered here and the graces that will be coming and then the grace upon this precious man and his wife, in the name of Jesus Christ, I move you, move to the next level. Move to the next level spiritually. Move to the next level spiritually. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I've heard everything you have said, but I confess before Jesus and before his people, I cannot say for sure I have accessed even the saving grace. You cannot get the enabling grace until you have received the saving grace. The administration of the enabling grace is for those who are in Christ. Remember, in our teaching of grace, we said it is all spiritual blessings that are routed through the office of Christ. Now listen very carefully. Before Jesus returns, there will be a harvest. Mighty evangelical voices across the globe have been prophesying this. I have seen it many times in my visions, even in recent times, that there is a prophetic harvest, a harvest like never before. Because this gospel of the kingdom must be preached as a witness to the ends of the earth. And then the end will come. So there is an abundant supply of grace and of the Spirit enabling as many who have taken God seriously to be able to frontier the course of the kingdom across the nations. Please hear me. There are people here who are saying, Apostle, Reverend Sam, I cannot truly say that I am saved. And for others you are saying, well, I remember making this decision, but truly, I cannot say as at now, that my relationship with Jesus is intact. You may be inside, you may be outside the overflow, or you may be across the globe. I understand there are people watching from across the continents of the earth, wherever you are watching by television, perhaps even by a rebroadcast. Jesus Christ is speaking to you right now. This is my last function here. I'm going to call on all of those who are making this decision, right where you are, if I plead that you just clear the way, please for them. I'm going to count one to five and I want you with boldness to come and stand before Jesus here. Please just stand, make sure they don't interrupt the man of God. Whether you are rededicating your life to Jesus or making this, I'm just looking for one sincere person who is saying there is no pretense, I came to church. You are inside, those coming from outside, if it's for salvation, please let them come. I'm counting one to five now, run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Run to Jesus. Please don't kneel. Stand for the sake of space so that others can come. God's people, is this the best you can do as you celebrate them? He has delivered us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Come. Come. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for this bold decision. And those who are connecting again by way of television, the internet, as I lead these precious ones to pray, make sure you pray. I believe an email or um, something will be projected from, from the screen and then you would see a link or an information to just let the church know that you made Jesus Lord of your life and then to connect you to the prayer platform for your spiritual nourishment. Hallelujah. All of you who have come, I salute you for making this most noble decision. This is the noblest decision that any man can make on this side of God's kingdom. 
Hallelujah. No matter how bad things are, it doesn't matter what yesterday was, he's able to give you a new beginning. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender to Jesus. Go ahead, high above your head. Please say this after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe you rose again for my justification right now. I make Jesus my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I declare that I'm a child of God. I go for whatever and backward never in Jesus name keep your hands lifted father thank you so much for this harvest we receive them and we declare in the name of Jesus based on the authority of scripture we declare your sins forgiven we call you bona fide recipients of the life of God from tonight we declare that you walk in righteousness even in the abundance of grace I commend you to the word and to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. And I decree and declare that you go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' matchless name I pray. Amen. Now watch this. All of you who are here, please may I request that you move to my right. There's someone waving his hands. Um, my left will be your right. Let's celebrate them as they go. If you counsel us who have a word with you and then you will be back to your seat thank you thank you now unto the lamb upon the throne we raise now we raise now are you celebrating Jesus for he is God and God Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kate katos, kate branda kata bako tos koto preka teke le kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.